So today we're going to talk about leadership. My style of leadership has been cobbled together through various people who I've met and learned from over time. First person I learned from, his number one rule was he would never send you to do a task that he could not complete or did not think that you could complete yourself. And that goes a long way to making sure that you send somebody that you're confident that they won't fail. Or if you do think there's a possibility that they fail, you make sure that you galvanize them against those feelings of failure if it's not exactly how you want it to turn out. Take their hand, show them where they could improve, show them how they could have done it better, and give them a chance to fix whatever issues you may think that they had. Secondly, this other mentor just did everything by the book. I mean, he didn't have to tell you what he was doing. He would explain it along the way if you needed it, but he would do his job every day, best of his abilities to make sure that everyone around him saw that he led by example. If he needed to speak to you about something, he would, but outside of that, he would keep everything light. He would keep everything enjoyable and he would do his best to make sure everybody was having a good day at work. That was one of the most enjoyable things that I could think of is just coming to work, knowing everybody would just do their job. He would do their, you know, he would do his job and he would just try to keep jokes slight and make sure everybody felt good. So as they were doing their job, they weren't too stressed. So eventually I started to pick up that trait from the first mentor, I started to pick up that trait. But my third mentor, he offered me leadership skills and motivation. You could see how he ran a system of 16 guys. He understood each individual person and he understood how to motivate each individual person. I could be motivated a few different ways. You could just ask me nicely and just your genuineness would give me motivation to do the job. Sometimes, if I don't think I could do the job, sadly to say, if you could anger me enough, it would just give me that determination that there's nothing that is going to stop me. And other days, you could bet me. You, uh, it could just be a friendly bet. It could just be a simple bet. But through each of these people, I learned how things could help me progress as a leader, a motivator, a person that you could come talk to, somebody who you could feel comfortable asking a question to learn from. All these things from different people taught me different ways to help other people because no one person is the same and no matter how great of a leader that I think I am, I'll meet somebody different. And that different person, I have to figure out how I can motivate them, mold them, cultivate them into the best person that they can be. And honestly, that's a true definition of leadership. Sitting back and just assigning orders or having a second in command and telling him, hey, this is what we need done. It's your job to get them to do what needs to be done. And at that point, they're really just nothing more than a talking head. We all have these guys in our offices who talk a big game, but then they just delegate everything out. I wanna be a leader in the field if I can help you, I'll be there helping you. If I have to be in the office, just making sure you're provided everything that you can, that's also very important. We don't all get leadership that provides what we need, when we need it, or sometimes if, if even at all. And then sometimes we have that leadership that's in the field that's, that just makes you feel better. It gives you more more of a, a good feeling about what you're doing so that you can do a better job yourself. What type of leadership qualities do you like out of your leaders? Leave it in the comments. Check the description for my store, my favorite content creators, their merchandise, and their channels.